We're going to try to do a buttonhole on my actual shirt. This is actually my second attempt. The first time I actually chose the wrong buttonhole and uh, I had to pull the stitch out. Fortunately, it was an open, fairly open buttonhole and put that down in this case. I think we want to raise this up a little bit and get this positioned properly. One thing that I do find with this buttonhole feature compared to my old sewing machine is I have to get used to a new process for positioning the buttonholes and making sure that everything is lined up properly because it isn't doing that right now. All right. And I think we're probably pretty good with this. And um, so what's interesting about this buttonhole foot is that apart from the actual button in here to set the buttonhole length, there is actually a cord that plugs into the machine and it is a sensor of some sort um, for judging the progress through the buttonhole stitching. And we're going to give this a try. I step on the presser foot and it begins sewing a buttonhole. And I had this on a moderate pace. Let's speed it up a little bit. It reaches the end, sews a couple of lock stitches, engage the thread cutter, lift the presser foot, and we have a buttonhole. Interesting features of the buttonhole foot is that it has this optional, it's basically, it's, it's, it's a bottom clamping plate. And that comes into play if you have problem fabrics that are difficult to feed through the machine. And that could be very thin things or that could be very thick things. So in my case, what I've got right here is the um, basically it's like right here is the edge of the, of the band of, of the, of the collar. And there's some bulk, uh, right here from basically all of the seam allowances. And I am not going to take any chances on the fabric not feeding properly. So what I'm doing is I am basically engaging this clamping plate and I am going to align the fabric in here and, and we have that's where the buttonhole is going to end and let me see if I can actually get this lined up properly now that looks like it's lined up properly more or less. And we put the presser foot down. And let's see. At this point, we engage and hope for the best. Now the machine is busy stitching the buttonhole with the fabric clamped inside. Foot. And we just let it do its thing. Cut the fabric, lift, pull it out, and we have a buttonhole. It is 
in the wrong place. I put it on the wrong guideline. It needs to be <laughs> a quarter of an inch downwards, uh, but it sewed the buttonhole without any problems.